A ski school would like to make the claim that their students fall fewer times after only one hour of instruction. Using the data below, use a sign test to make a conclusion about the school's claim. And here we have our sample data, students A through O, and the number of falls before instruction for each student, and the number of falls after instruction on some long ski run. And because this is a sign test, we're going to look at the, uh, the signs, the, the difference, sign of the difference, or sign of the differences, one difference per column. So 30 is greater than 26. This, we're talking about before versus after. 30 is greater than 26, so we'll say that's a plus. And 19 is greater than 6, so that's a plus. And 19 is greater than 14, 23 is greater than 8, 29 is greater than 14, 17 greater than 14, 15 greater than 14, 20 is less than 22, so we'll put a negative sign there. And 12 is less than 17. So we'll put a negative sign there. And then 39 is greater than 8. 14 is greater than 11. 81 falls is greater than 30 falls. Some improvement. 17 is greater than 14. 31 is greater than 17. And 21 is greater than 15. So it's important to note that this is a sample, sample of the population. So certainly for this sample, absolutely there was improvement for most of the students. but we do a hypothesis test so that we can say, well, can we draw this conclusion uh, and, uh, and set it for the, the entire population? So for the sign test and for any hypothesis test, you have opposing hypotheses. You have the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis for the, the sign test, we'll put this in words first. There's no difference. Let's say, and usually that null is that, that unexciting, that non-exciting information. So we'll say, what if there was no difference? Then we would expect the, uh, the median of the sign differences to be uh, zero. That is, that you know, one would cancel out the other. So I'll put that median of the sign differences is equal to zero. On the other hand, the alternative hypothesis says, uh, we're, we're trying to say uh, not just different, but did they actually get better? Did, this, did the students get better? So I'm going to say uh, more falls before just so we can stay with this positive the way we subtracted uh, before minus after. So more falls before instruction. That would mean it, it is effective. And so the median then of the sign differences is greater than zero. So consider this like a, a coin flip. We know if a, if a coin is fair, you'll expect to get just as many heads as tails over many flips. And certainly in a small sample, you might get a few more heads than tails, but, um, and then we could do a hypothesis test on that. So this is kind of like a, a coin flip. So under this uh, null hypothesis, if there's no difference, that would be the coin flip, saying uh, sometimes students get better, sometimes they get worse, um, but but it's the the pluses and minuses would would cancel out. So for the all the stu different students, so we're going to use a binomial distribution to to kind of calculate this to to find this out to get our our p value. So the p value, the p value, remember is that probability value. It's, it is that probability of getting a result as extreme or more extreme. And so what we have, our extreme here, is getting, uh, we have got 15, I'll write right here, n equals 15 is our sample size. 
And out of 15 people, uh, 13 of them improved. So what is the probability of getting 13 heads out of 15 flips? That's what this is like saying. Well, we're, we're thinking that's probably a pretty low probability, but, but let's talk about it anyway. So this, the probability, this p-value, is the same as saying the probability that we get x successes, x is greater than or equal to what we did get, and that was 13 out of uh, 15 trials. So let's, let's take a look at this. What we want is listing these numbers. If you have, um, let's see, I'm going to put 13, 14, 15 successes. Or you could have less than that, 12, 11, and so on. So what we want is in red. Now, Excel, using the binome dist function, Excel is going to give you this. So let me put that in right here. Actually, I'll put it down here. I say equals binome dist. And, and then Excel is pretty good about walking us through this. Number of successes. We want at, um, no more than, this is the way Excel works. It, it, adds, it adds from the top number down. Okay, so no more than 12 successes out of how many trials? Comma, uh, 15 trials, comma, probability of success. This is like a coin flip. So we say 0 0.5. And then, and then we're looking at is this cumulative? This is what Excel is asking us. And we say true. We, we do want to add those up. And now this is not, before I hit enter here, I want to let you know, this is not going to be the p-value. This is going to be a, a pretty big pr probability, actually. So very big probability. But we're not looking for this yellow, right? So we just found this probability to be point, uh, let's move that back over. We found this probability to be 0 0.9963. What we want is the red probability, the probability of getting something as extreme or more that, that we did observe. So we're going to say in here equals 1 minus by a complement, the idea of complements, 1 minus this probability in yellow. I'll just call that cell. Ah, this is a low p-value. And what we get is 0 0.0037. And I know I could have just done that in my head, but I wanted to use Excel there. So this p-value of 0 0.0037, that's a very, very low p-value. Low p-value is lower even than if you were using a, a 0 0.01 significance level. So we will make a decision about the null to reject the null. That means that what we saw is not very likely to see, so that means that it's probably likely that uh, there were more falls before or that the ski school does make the students better. So we will reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. We don't say we accept the alternative, but there's a very good chance that the alternative is true. Reject the null, and then we go on to say evidence suggests that uh, that there were more falls before, or that the ski school is helping the students get better. So I'll just write that in a paraphrase to shorten this up, that the students got better or students, I should say, get better with this, with this instruction. That was an example of a sign test.